How's it going guys and welcome back to Off The Grid. So, we bought ourselves a lovely Ford 7610. Now, it's obviously quite well used, but um, yeah, it's a good little tractor. It cost us $12,000 and let's just get it off the trailer here and we'll take a closer look. Yeah, it came with a, a front loader, which is very handy. And it runs well and it was sort of... Pretty well looked after, I think. I mean, engine and everything sounds good, and overall it's not in bad condition, it's just old. But yeah, lovely front loader that it came with. Unfortunately, no attachments, but that's fine. Um, what we own for the Massey will fit on this just fine. Four-wheel drive. When it was new, this would have had about 105 horsepower. Probably would have lost a few of them over the years. But um, yeah, should be quite a bit more powerful than the Massey anyway. And then it does have the drawbar over here, which is very handy because it doesn't have an attachment up here or attacher up here. And because this is going to be used a lot for, well, our silage making, and um, it's going to be a bit of a problem not having an attacher up here with things like a forage wagon where the PTO uh, sits below the attachment arm. So yeah, hooking down there is not going to work because then we can't actually link up the PTO. So with this on here, the drawbar, we can actually attach the trailer there and still run the PTO, which is perfect. Obviously, we can take this off if we need to run something on here like a mower or something like that. But to be honest, the mower here, if we do um, start mowing, we'll probably use the Massey for that. It'll just suit it a little bit better. But um, yeah. I think this is going to be a really handy tractor to have around. As I say, obviously a bit more power than the Massey and a bit more lifting capacity as well. I do think that the Massey will probably still use mostly for logging. Um, it just works well. It's nice and maneuverable. And it actually handles the weight quite well. Uh, we don't really cut massive lengths of trees. So yeah, the Massey is just fine. We'll probably just leave the grapple on that. It actually has it on it at the moment because when we went down um, past the shop, I um, I took a load of logs with me just because we were going there anyway to go pick this up, which was from a fairly local guy. But yeah, like I said, I had to pass a shop anyway. So I took the last of the logs that we had over there. Got about just over $2,000 for that. So not bad, not a great uh, load, but um, yeah perfectly fine. I think the bucket we'll probably use mostly on this. Uh, when we get back to road building, which we might do today, I'm not 100% sure, um, we'll probably use that just because it'll have a lot more weight, it'll be more stable. It's four-wheel drive as well, so it'll be a little bit easier, um, yeah, just to, to do that kind of work, and probably with like pallets and stuff as well, uh, when we do start, uh, well, doing a bit of vegetables and stuff like that with a garden uh, there's probably going to be a bit of palace that needs moving around then we can sort of use either or even the skid steer i guess but um yeah anyway we'll see so the plan for today is well we need to clear out just about two or three trees because we need to make a bit of an access road and the reason for that is i've been talking to one of the local guys that does forestry um, just by the way, I haven't actually done anything else with the road since the last video. It was a little bit busy with other stuff, but we might carry on with that today. We'll see where we where we stand for time. But we might actually be able, um, well, we will be able to rent a few bits of equipment off of him. And he gave me a few pointers about what would be best around here. And the thing is, we need a bit of an access road. So I initially thought that maybe we can fill in this little gap here and make an access road into here. But to be honest, it'll probably just be a lot simpler and easier to just use this space. We'll maybe have to level all of this out a little bit. Um, it's a little bit on the steep side. But um, yeah, if we get rid of that tree, that tree, and probably that one, we should be fine. Um, in terms of space to level this out a little bit and yeah make it easy for equipment to get in and out of here and then there should be quite a bit of space because the idea is he's got a yarder and it it does require a connection to a tractor i think and um, so if we do this or when we do this 
I think we'll probably put the the Ford onto the Yarder and then we'll use the Massey to cart stuff in and out. But I don't know how it's going to cope with that hill. It might be, yeah, a bit dodgy. But we'll see. It's only going to be probably 6 meter logs. So we'll see how it goes. We could always put the Massey on the Yarder because the Yarder is sort of like a self-sustained unit. Um, it might just need an actual connection um, on it. But I don't think it needs a PTO connection. Um, if I'm... I'm not mistaken but yeah the idea basically is we're gonna put it up here somewhere and then we'll sort of get cables and everything down to make it nice and stable and then I want to hook it up to a tree somewhere down there now I don't actually know that tree there it looks kind of okay but I'm not 100% sure and we'll have to see when we're down there and I want to basically bring the logs rather than take the the logs all the way down this windy road, which is going to take forever and will also be dangerous to do. Uh, we're going to put a yard up here, connect a cable on one of the trees down there, but I think that one will actually be ideal because it's nice and centered on that road. And then we'll bring the logs just through here as we sort of process them in there. We'll bring them here, just drop them here, hook them up to the yarder, and then run it down the cable and drop them somewhere down there. Which means we can then take a front loader down there and load it up to a truck and then run it into town. So yeah, that is the idea. The limit on that yard is about 3 tons. So we should be able to get quite a few logs down there at a time. And also, renting off of this guy is going to be a lot cheaper than renting off of the local shop. So yeah, we might actually get some of his equipment in for the processing as well. But um, yeah... It's still going to be a lot of money, but it's going to be a lot cheaper than getting it off of the shop. And also, it'll be a lot safer doing it this way. Because as far as I know, um, the local shop here at least uh, don't stock something like yarders. We can get a few bits and pieces in terms of logging equipment off of them, but nothing like that. So um, yeah, we'll see. We might have to sort of rent between the two depending on what they have available. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be a much better, much safer option. I was kind of thinking about linking up down there somewhere and then dropping in that road. But to be honest, we might as well just drop there. And it's not going to be an unsafe operation. This is all our land. Um, our property line runs about there. I think just on the other side of the road, if I remember correctly. So no one should be in this area anyway. This is all private land. Um, so yeah, I think that'll work pretty well. But hmm... I think um, it's kind of steep over there. Maybe we should. See, I don't want to get too close to here either because the machine is going to sit somewhere around here. Yeah, I mean, if we take out this tree here, maybe that one, that one, and that one, we should be able to clear out. Maybe not even necessary to take that one out now. Um, maybe these three? Take them out and then make a nice little smooth area in here where we can get in and out with the Massey. So, yeah, I think... I think we'll do that. Right. Okay. So, we're gonna head over, we'll grab the Massey, and we'll come back. I think, in terms of the logs there, I think basically everything that we take out of here from this point onwards, we're probably just gonna sell. Uh, we've got loads of wood over there for firewood and um, yeah it's going to take us a while to process through all of that so I don't think I'm going to add more to that pile and um, we'll probably yeah just sell everything so no point bringing it over here either whatever we take down there now we'll just sort of stockpile next to the road or something just so it's not in the way but um, yeah I think that'll work best just get everything ready there for um, for when we get the yarder in and the rest of the equipment but um, yeah, we are going to grab the Massey. Uh, we'll probably use the Ford for this as well because we're going to need to do a bit of leveling over there. So we'll get the bucket on the Ford and get that over there. And yeah, get a bit of work done. We're going to need the stump grinder on the skid steer there as well. So yeah, basically using all of our equipment here today, which is good. It means that everything that we own is sort of necessary, which is nice. It's never good when equipment just sits around. You never use them. So, yeah. We're going to get these trees down. We'll get them processed, cut into bits, get them sort of, yeah, just some piled up somewhere. And then we'll start working on 
the ramp to get in and out of here quite efficiently. And um, yeah, we're going to jump into a real quick time lapse, get this all knocked out. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Baby, I've been hearing, been hearing stories about where you're from and what you want to show me. Let's make it happen. And I'm talking now because I can't waste another day not knowing what you're about. I want to meet your mother, want to know your partner. Take that back road where you wrecked your first car. That bright red seat top, you didn't get too far. We'll hit that dance hall that I've heard so much about. I'll be the new girl, the talk of this small town. When I meet your mother, when I know your pa, when we watch that sunset. When we watch that sunset under southern skies near the water's edge where the crickets call somebody might fall in love We can pop a top, stay up all night, see where this goes, count the stars above We still got a lot to discover We still got a lot to discover But first, I want to meet your mother Wanna meet your mother, yeah. Hey. All right, well, that is a lot better. I did see that there's still a bit of a bump in the middle there, but it should be okay. We can probably do a bit more work here and level it out a little bit more just to make sure that everything's nice and smooth and safe uh, for us to operate in. But um, yeah, basically just, um, well, there was a big mound over there. So basically just taking a bit of that dirt and sort of filling in uh, down here and making everything nice and smooth. But I think that is going to work really, really well. As I say, there's a bit of a bump here. Might need to smooth that out a little bit but um yeah whether we're going to use the Massey or the Ford to actually run the logs out of here I'm not 100% sure yet but either way I think it'll work really really well and um, the Ford has actually been working really well um, for this here uh, it's fantastic I think it's going to be really really handy for the road building as well makes things quite a lot quicker I mean obviously the bucket's the same so it holds the same amount of, well, dirt. But the thing is with the four-wheel drive, yeah, it just, well, it grips better and it can push a lot more dirt um, in one go. I didn't have to run into town to go get a weight for it, though. 
because, um, yeah, obviously the boom on this is quite large, well, quite long, um, compared to the short boom on the Massey, and the weight of the Massey um, wasn't enough to keep the rear wheels on the ground in this tractor, so yeah, we had to go get a nice big weight, that was $1,500, uh, so yeah, quite expensive, two and a half ton weight, but that's fine, uh, the drawbar is just back at the yard. So that's okay, but um, yeah, it worked really, really well. I'm very happy about um, about this purchase. I really am. Nice old tractor, gets the job done quite easily. I think it's going to be very, very handy for us on the farm here. But yeah, I think um, that's probably going to work quite well. I think if we set up the yarder with the, the tractor, if it needs a tractor on it, which I think it kind of does, but um, yeah, we'll probably set that up right here maybe with a tractor in between those trees and then it'll have a nice little spot to sit maybe just here and um, run all the way down to somewhere there we'll probably attach to one of those trees down there there's a few big trees so that should be just fine but yeah lovely view that is never get tired of that view but yeah that was a pretty good day's work i think um unfortunately we didn't get to road building but that'll just go on the back burner for a little while. I'm not sure if um, if we're going to get the equipment in to do this by the next video. I'm hoping we can. Um, but it just depends on what else needs doing and whether the equipment is available or not. I'm hoping to start working here um, yeah, quite, quite soon. I was thinking about putting up a little greenhouse and everything where we're building the road. But to be honest, I kind of want to get rid of a lot of the trees before we do that. So we can sort of figure out what we're going to do exactly with this space in terms of field and everything. Um, so yeah, the the greenhouse is kind of a little bit on the back burner. Uh, just I, I want to sort of utilize the space as best as possible. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think it's still going to go where we're planning on putting it. I think it'll work really, really well. But um, yeah, we might have to run a road or something past there. And I'm kind of thinking about maybe keeping this as an access road for this area. So yeah, that's why I'm not 100% sure exactly where I want to put that greenhouse. Because we could possibly, if we put enough work into the space here, we could probably make this a little yard. Because um, I was going to put just the greenhouse into here. But then I was kind of thinking if we fill in this entire area, we might be able to actually put a... A little shed and everything here and run a road through just sort of around here down to that access road and that's why i want to get rid of well these trees as soon as possible so that we can sort of see where we want to run the field and whether we might actually use some of this space as a yard as well because obviously we do have the yard on that side but it's very limited for space where here yeah we've got a bit more flexibility but anyway i'm not a hundred percent sure yet uh, what we're going to do with that but um yeah we'll We'll start building a little greenhouse or a vegetable garden or something over there real soon. The other thing is as well, obviously, the equipment rental is going to be quite expensive. So I don't want to be spending any unnecessary money right now. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that as soon as we've paid for all of this. But um, yeah, I think we are going to leave it there for today. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.